The Royal Botanical Gardens in London houses seven million specimens, making it the largest plant collection on Earth. Their seeds exist in a dry state because hundreds of years ago, when humans crossed the oceans, there was no way to preserve plants in the salt air for months at sea. Then, enterprising thinkers came up with novel solutions. One of them is a London physician and gardener named Nathaniel Ward. It's 1829, and Ward is frustrated that the polluted London air is giving his plants a hard time. He has the idea for an artificial miniature biosphere, something like what we'd call a terrarium today. All it takes are some strips of wood and a couple panes of glass. The Wardian case is a success. The plants inside the case remain fresh for weeks without having to be watered. In 1848, tea seedlings are brought from China to India in Wardian cases. Later, gum trees are shipped from South America to Asia. By using these miniature greenhouses, humans around the world begin to redesign entire landscapes and ecosystems. <laughs>